summer of 88. Summer dead tour finished and, and I settled in New York after that and, and we began what would be God Street Wine. We started learning like the 15 songs that I had written and set out to conquer the world. I thought pretty on like this could be something, this could be kind of cool. We didn't really know that there was the scene brewing that was brewing with the likes of Blues Traveler and the Spin Doctors. It was a word of mouth kind of thing. There was never a publicity firm we were just played. There wasn't jam bands, you know, people were like, oh, you sound like the Almond Brothers the Grateful Dead because you play long solos. But at the same time, we also wanted to get that song on the radio because that's how we could actually make a living at this. We hit a lot of obstacles. We are now torching our contract. We want to continue on doing this. You don't want to continue on doing this, do you? I don't think that that's very out of the fucking ordinary. I think the word fuck has been used an awful lot tonight. Maybe we've done this enough for a while. We probably all have a different take on it. One thing that I can be proud of saying is I don't think I actually had a job until I was, you know, 35 or something.